around your shoulder. Feels good, uh, especially a new weight as well. Uh, a lot of people were asking questions if it'd be big enough and strong enough for Bantam, and I think I've just proved that there. How important was it for you to get a stoppage so you could maybe dispel a few of those that, that did wonder that? Yeah, the last two fights have been 12 rounds, and uh, people were asking questions. And uh, obviously the new weight, I feel a lot stronger. That's thanks to uh, Arnie in the gym. Chris and Sam at No Limits as well, they've been on course for the last seven weeks and I'm feeling really strong now. Do you feel good at this weight? Do you, do you feel like this is where you belong? Yeah, I feel comfortable with it. But I felt comfortable at Superfly as well, but I feel like I'm punching a lot harder and I'm sitting down a bit more on my shots at a bad time. And is there no weight for you to drop back do you see now? Do you, do you see the weight up rather than down? Uh, at the moment, we'll stay at Bantam, but if those doors open at super flyweight, there's no reason why I wouldn't drop down. There's a shake of your head there. It can make you, but it can make a move. I think it's a little bit stronger, but well, it's stronger this way, obviously. You can take more, um, you know, goodness, more foods in, but, um, whatever way it is. If you box it like that, the world's nice though. In terms of that performance, how impressive was it for you, and how closely did he execute the game plan? Perfect. We told him. His defence is unbelievable, but we told him not to stand there too long uh, defending, and he didn't do that. He, he, he was perfect. He was just he just done everything we asked him to do, and it was like great. That that guy is a tough guy. We didn't make him look like it, but he's a very very tough guy. He took some great fighters a distance. Oh, um, satellite, I think it's called. He took him a distance, and you know, we see one all between them. Uh, fascinating as well. You managed to find the finish when you you had your back to the ropes and you were able to fight in that way rather than having to come forward. Yeah, uh, my last fight, uh, I was mainly on the ropes and I was comfortable, but when I went back to the ropes there, uh, just before the stoppage, it went three little left ups to the head, and his hands come up and I touch him to the head and the sink one into the body, and that's what we do every day in the gym, so nothing new really. When are you going to be out again? Are you, are you ready for that world title shot now, do you feel? Definitely. Uh, he's never been stopped that kid, and I've just I've just stepped up to the weight and got rid of him in four rounds. Uh, and I think there was a few edgy moments for him in the rounds before as well, but uh, yeah, we're definitely ready for the world title now, I think. Is he ready, and, and who, who should he fight next, in your opinion? We won't call no names out. Whoever, whoever like, um, Frank and that, you know, uh, put, in, put to us, we'll fight, but we've always done it. We've never, you know, ducked a challenge. Whoever this put us against, we've got a great relationship, you see. And, um, they, they know the fights to pick. They're, you know, they're, the, they're the matchmakers. They, they're guiding Paul with great you know, fights like this, where you can't, you can't, you can't beat going them 12 rounds and stuff like he's done in the last two fights. You know, with strong, tough guys. And you've seen what he's done here today as well. Took someone that's never been stopped to apart. So he's been matched perfectly, and he's, he's ready for the world now. Jensen, thank you very much. Appreciate your time this evening, and congratulations on, on the new belts. Thanks a lot. Cheers.